Hello everybody, how's it going? Buddy Blackbird here with another After Effects CS6 tutorial. This tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use the pen tool to basically mask out or mask in different objects. So we have this picture of the uh, some graffiti that I took when I was living out in uh, California and we're gonna practice using parts of this graffiti we're gonna practice masking parts of it out using the pen tool so the first thing we need to start by is clicking on the pen tool up here and the hotkey for pen tool is G Now, if you press G again you will get the uh, mask feather tool and if you hold down on the um, on the button here you can see the different tools so the pen tool usually just convert or uh, changes from the add vertex tool or delete vertex tool or convert ve vertex tool which the vertexes are basically just points so we can start by trying to mask out this little blue uh, extrusion here in the uh, in the graffiti so all you gotta do is make sure you have your layer, correct layer selected and click on the image and it creates a point now if you want to go down to your next area and click and that'll create another point if you hold your mouse button down and drag it'll create bezier handles and round out your mask now we don't want to round out the mask at this point at this uh, line right here because it's already straight so I'm gonna click down here and keep it straight we'll click on here keeping that one straight straight we get up here and now we can see that this part right here is curved now a trick that you wanna learn is don't use a whole bunch of bezier points when you could just use a few to accomplish this curve so you don't want to do something like this because then you got a whole bunch of points now that you got to edit and it'll be really annoying so try just using only a couple so maybe one right here where the, where it curves then one over here and you just make the bezier handle come down even farther there and then and then one up here on the top I click on my tool make sure my pen tool is selected somehow I, I hit my uh, selection tool key by accident now we'll come up here and make another curve now this curve didn't quite make it so what I need to do is go on to the line here and you see my pen tool turns into a plus click there and then you can add another tool or you can add another vertex point and now when the black arrow is on it you can drag the point down and add it in there now if you don't want extra points make sure your pen tool is selected Oop. and hold down control over one of the points and it'll come up with a negative there click on it and it'll erase the point we wanted that there say you came down to this side here and you can see it's like cutting in a little there's black out there so maybe you want to add bezier handles to it if you hold alt and um, hover over your vertex point you can use the convert vertex tool and drag and you can get bezier handles on it now when you're creating masks you want to be precise so you don't want this black hanging out well it, I guess it depends on uh, your client sometimes they might want to have you cut in but most of the time they want to have you right on the edge so you zoom in hover over and just move on the edge of the pixels there same with this now probably want to round it a little now to close it click on your last point and then you can resume making points if you want to 
I'm just hitting Control Z to close it. And to close, or to uh, go back, and to close your shape, you click over the first point you made, and then you'll see a little circle coming up next to your pen tool cursor. Click, and it'll close for you. Now, it cuts out the, sh the uh, shape there. And everything else is gone, obviously. So maybe you didn't maybe you didn't want to uh, cut it out. Maybe you wanted to cut it out of the actual graffiti picture. Well, you can come down to here where you where your mask is. If that's not there, you just hit M for mask, and it'll bring it up, bring up your mask properties. You click on the blending mode drop down menu over here. And you can hit subtract. Say, say you want to, uh, say you want to have it on add or something like that in the final in your final render. But you need to make another point, or you need to make another mask. Well, you can't see anything. So what I do is I set the blending mode to none, and then I can start clicking again and making another mask. So on this eye here. Now the way to uh, use your Bezier handles properly, just align, drag out and align your next, uh, align your Bezier handle with where you think you're going to put your next point. Like that. And um, it takes some. Uh, it takes some practice to get a little to get pretty good with uh what this is called is kind of like it's called masking but it's also called rotoscoping when you're when you're doing this frame by frame and I'll uh, show you that quick also in a next tutorial actually so there's the eye that's clicked out now if we put these both on there you go you have the eye out of there and you have this shape here. If you don't want to see your uh, your mask anymore, just click on um, this button right here, toggle mask path and shape visibility, and now you can see what it is, and you can go look in and fine tune. So, I mean, there's a little bit of blue hanging out here, so I wanna come in and uh, fine tune that. Looks like I cut in a little too much right here. So, I mean, you can go in and then fine tune y your image. You always want to come in and zoom in so it doesn't, and make sure you're at where you're supposed to be so it doesn't look like crap.